and you have like 40 minutes to get ready and get out of here. Do you have the music on your phone? I do. What about your vows? I do. This was a very challenging episode, all the logistical nightmares. In some ways, it's like planning a wedding. You have to make these two people sound as romantic as possible. Plus, you have to make it kind of exciting. It was tricky, but the room of writers all helped out, and we had a great time actually doing it. Getting married! Cassie did a terrific job with this episode, tying together all the bits that you need to tie together. There's a lot of opportunity for growth, but she did a great job of bringing things to a close, and I think that's what got everybody, you know. There's a lot of pressure on a finale. Is it as good as it can be? Are the words going to be romantic enough, memorable enough? For some of us, this is the 74th table read we've been through. David Wellington set the tone for kind of a nostalgic experience. This is by far the best job I've ever, ever had, and maybe will ever will have. So I have you to thank for it now and forever. Anybody else think it's the best job you've ever had? <laughs> To sit around this big table with these people we've spent the last five, six years together is probably the best read through I've ever had. Andy, she's staring herself in the mirror. She's starting to look pretty good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so old. Dress is new. My pals. I think we got a great dress. Simple, but in a beautiful way. My whole thing was like, it's got to be Andy. She's feminine, but she's a cop. She's not going to wear something that's not practical, even on her wedding day. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 I'm coming, I'm coming. Hi. You look beautiful. The biggest challenge to mix work as an endgame was that Nick and Andy worked pretty well. That caused a lot of debate. You're happy, huh? Yeah. Yes, I really am. Going into that read-through and hearing the last script, Cassie's written a beautiful finale that really ties things up nicely. We were trying to show that you can love different people, but we knew that Sam Swart really was the guy for her. Come on! It's my wedding! Andy and Sam are such different people that to watch them struggle to find that common ground and stay in love, it's amazing. That's the magic. Uh, Sam, it's me. There was this girl, she stabbed this guy. It's Actually, it's a really long story. Is it? Is it a long story? The audience knows it's never going to really be a smooth sailing with uh, Andy and Sam, but that they love each other so much that they'll figure it out. Did you think I wasn't going to show up? Sweetheart, I never doubted you for a second. I love you. I love you too. That other baby is going to be a part of it, and it's going to work out. There's enough love to go around. She's on her way. Ending with a wedding was not always what we thought we would do. Getting these two married and really cementing their love in a public, joyous way seemed like the right choice. So I found the hardest part the vows, probably. To watch these characters that we've built finally saying these things to each other was very emotional. I, Samuel J. Swarick, take you, McNally, as my lawfully wedded wife, to love and to cherish. I get emotional at weddings. There was a poignancy there. I said that to a new Kokuma, and she went, <laughs> I love you, Ben. And ben starts crying. Missy starts crying. Sam Swark, I choose you. All you heard was six years, you know, six years of this couple back and forth, back and forth. It was just special. With this ring, I be wed. <laughs> This is the reception. Remember Alana Frank saying, we'll end with a wedding like Shakespeare. And it'll be great. We're all really good friends. So it creates this environment, this family. I think that the fans connect to our connection with each other. It's kind of uh, pretty cool to come all together. It's always art imitating life, imitating art. In some way, every season. You know, they asked for photos for the slideshow for the episode, and so we're all going through the last five years of our life. 
that blew me away. We love each other. We're a little crazy little family, and many of the people that I work with every day are my friends now. Oh, it's just the end of an era. All the moments just coming together. To take your hand to be feels like such a home to me. It really does feel like family. We're all adults now. We've all done it together. This is a really special moment. It really puts things in perspective. There's some pictures in there I'd like to get rid of, but that's no big deal. All these emotions, all these like memories, all these memories, and then it just puts you back into that. I get emotional thinking about it now. Crazy. Everyone we love is here. Together. I feel like I'm gonna explode into like a million shiny pieces. I think that's called joy. <laughs> yeah. We're miles apart from where we began, but at the same time, there are things that have carried throughout. I'm proud of that.